Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechDragon.info and today we're gonna take a look at the MT-25, the Russian Tier 6 light tank, you can see it right here. And we are currently looking at Tech Dragon on very brief update here on Tech Dragon. Um, hopefully by this weekend I'll have the complete automatic release script done. Right now I can automatically, well automatically, I type in one command and I can release all of my files that have changed. I still need to fix the database for that to get sent over and processed as well. But yeah, I have it pretty automated. So whenever I make a change, I can very easily just go click and poof, it will be online instantly. So that should decrease the amount of time it takes for me to put things online because I can just change one line and I can just upload it instantly. And nowadays I had, or before I had to batch everything up to, you know, do it in a batch because it was a lot of work. So hopefully I can get updates out a lot faster now. And just minor updates, but still just bring them out faster and faster. Anyways, more than enough talking about that. Let's take a look at the MT-25. I've done a sort of review of this tank before, but it was way, way back. So we're going to take a new fresh look at this tank. So I'm comparing it here to its peers. I have left out the French tier 6, the, um, the 12T, because it's not a loader. It's kind of hard to compare. It, it sort of works, but, you know, it's still, it's an auto loader. Your tactics on an auto loader are very different from a normal gun. So, yeah, um, for those reasons I left it out, and I had more than enough other tanks to uh, fill the void here. So let's take a look. Frontal armor is not the best, but definitely not the worst either. But they're light tanks. Who cares about armor? Like you're ever going to bounce. Well, I actually have bounced. <laughs> but yeah, let's just skip that. Not important. They're light tanks. Who? Yeah, no, no armor. As for the price, it is the cheapest. Who cares about that? I have no idea, but it's the cheapest. Five crew members, view range of 370 is the lowest out of them. It is a bit of a blind light tank. Uh, radio 730 is pretty average. HP at 570 is pretty bad as well. Chance of fire is lower than the rest though, but where this thing shines is the mobility. Take a look at that. 72 kilometers an hour is quite a bit more than the rest. Um, T21 is a pretty bad light tank. It's just slow, and you can see it here. It really is slow. It's pretty bad. As for the power to weight ratio, as you can see here, power to weight. On the VK2801, it's 24. On the T37, it's 21. On the T21, it's 24. On this thing, 27. This thing has a very, very excellent power to weight ratio. That is pretty damn good. Track traverse also 48 degrees is pretty good and not as good as the T21. I'm kind of doubting that that is correct. I'll have to check that after this video is made because that does not sound right. Um, maybe we'll take a look at that when we're in the game. Anyways, the weight 26 tons, 23, 25, 23. So it is a bit heavy-ish for a light tank, but it gets a 700 horsepower engine. So who cares about the weight? As for the gun, the gun elevation at 25 degrees is top of the line here out of these. Gun depression at 5 degrees is okay, but certainly not the best versus 9 and 10. And the turret reverse though is quite good, which makes this thing pretty good, combines with the power to weight ratio to actually circle people. And that is a very nice feature to have on a light tank. Let's take a look at the thing in-game. And here we are. Let's take a look at the tank here and the guns. Let's take a look at the guns here first. So, gun-wise, this thing is less than spectacular. You get a 57mm with a rate of fire of 25, which is not bad. Penetration of 112, again, not fantastic, but not bad. 85 damage is quite low, though. Even with that rate of fire, that is not a lot of damage. 0.34 accuracy is okay it's not bad for a light tank 2.1 second aim time is pretty good not the best though um let's take a look here so rate of fire of 18 over here 150 penetration and 115 damage per shot less accuracy but better aim time that's the t37 and once we get over to the vk here we have a derp gun so it's kind of hard to compare this but um yeah with 
HE because nobody's going to shoot AP with this thing. AG shells, 410 damage, 53 penetration. Yeah, kind of hard to compare, so let's definitely leave that one out. But So, uh, the, the thing about this light tank is it's not particularly good at anything per se. I mean, sure, you can use it as a spotting tank, you know, sit in the bush and do absolutely nothing and just spot. Yeah, you can do that, but your view range is not the best on this thing. Uh, 370 like I said before so it's not the best passive scout either and that's kind of the general theme with this thing it's pretty quick that that's definitely a very good feature but that's about all it has and the track traverse is good but not that fantastic it's actually quickly here take a look at the American C21 what is your final track traverse? It is 60. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess it was correct then. Wow, that's pretty good track traverse on that thing. That thing can turn on a dime. This thing? Yeah, not so much. It, don't get me wrong. 48 is still fantastic track traverse. Nothing bad about that, but it's not 60. Um, so overall, this thing is just... Eh. You know, there, there's... How do I put it? It's just... It falls a little bit shy of greatness in every single respect. The speed is good, but it won't really help you all that much. So let's take a look at the gameplay to see how this thing actually functions. And here we are, let's take a look at the matchup here. Uh, tier 7 game, that's not too bad, really. Um, tier 7 is doable. This thing being a tier 6, I do believe we can get into... Tier 9, yeah, <laughs> have to think. I think it's tier 9. So let's take a look at what we can do. We are here on Monastery, or Abbey, um, whatever you want to call it, in the, uh, what is it called? Yeah, it's Abbey here in the replay fells, it's called Monastery, so yeah, same thing. Anyways, we set up for some early spots, hopefully some people going off to the side there, but we don't really seem to have anything lit up, and what is this IS doing here? Okay. We have an IS with us. Well, hmm. Time to move up a little bit. Let's take the back road here, just so we don't get spotted. Just slowly making our way up there. I think the IS is actually following us. Not sure why. I do apologize about the replay. It looks really glitchy. It's a 9.6 replay, so I think there were quite a bit of bugs in 9.6 replays. So. Sorry about that. I mean, my frame rate is at 80, so can't really blame that. And still haven't spotted anything. Hmm. It's gonna be one of those odd games, isn't it? <laughs> Where you just go like, um, hello? Is there an enemy team somewhere? I'd like to see some team. Well. Oh man, this is so glitchy. Anyways, so we seem to have broken through the enemy lines here. It's artillery hunting time. Woohoo! There's one. Yes, Put one shot in on the move. Put a second one in on the move. Yes, Third one in on the move. Come on, fourth one. Yes, there we go. Finish him off. So, that's one until we dead. <laughs> uh, oh, oh crap. J Panther. Oh, who doesn't seem to see us. Awesome. Artillery. Lock targets. Let's go. Oh, we miss. Ducking and weaving here, not to make it easy for the artillery to shoot us. And miss again, darn it. And I decide, well, let's not get too close and we finish him off. Oh! <clears throat> you didn't see that. So we have a J Panther on the hill behind us. Um, I'm sure he's gonna come out and poke at us. Yes, there he is. Brad Panther. No, it's a okay. And we bounce. What? And we put a second show in, light him on fire. M4 misses us as well. And we are off, put another one into him on the move. What the actual F just happened? We went into the enemy base. We killed two artillery. We put another couple of shots in their Hellcat and their M4. And we came out with no damage taken whatsoever. Huh? How the fudgical does that work? <laughs> How did I just get across the map, literally? Run circle, cross the map, and not take any damage. As you can see, this thing can really shift. And I'm even asking chat, like, how did that just happen? <laughs> hmm, 
Okay. So here you can see the speed of this thing. This thing can actually shift around the map quite fast. <laughs> well, at least he's being honest about it. Got a fury over there, don't quite have a line of sight on him. You sort of try to put one in on the move there. Oh, he's backing up. Trying again, miss. And oh crap, it's a wreck. <sighs> Dang it, who put that wreck there? Come on, I want my kill. Ah, oh, he bounced. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Rounds. oh, and he misses. He missed. And we finish him off. Reverse speed on this thing is pretty good as well, by the way. So, duking somebody into missing you is very, very possible with this thing. And a good thing to do. Can we see him? No, we can't. Darn it. T29. And... As you might be able to tell, I really don't like scouting. I'm way more a fan of some active. Uh, oh, crap, oh crap, oh, I'm gonna take a big shot in the face there. Ow. And he's going forward again. Kind of afraid that there's somebody gonna be up on the hill there. I came forward. But, I need to press on. There's not that many left. And they're all on the left side of the map here. So, let's see what we can do. T29 is going to be up there. He's going to be busy here any second now. Yep, there he is. He's firing. I'm thinking, well, I think they got it. And then I realize, oh shit, there's a Hellcat right next to me. Crap. Okay. Oh crap, and there's the M4. Uh, Hellcat is looking at us. And we bounce him again. Oh, he is so screwed. Ah, we put in a bad shot there. As you can see, this thing can really go forward and backwards, and we miss, or, well, he misses us, and we finish him off. Fourth kill. Yeah, this game was fun! So we have somebody capping our base, and I think I need to go back and hopefully help reset. Because, you know, this thing is fast. We do have an M4 behind us, but he's not coming after us, that's good. Gives us the room to go back. And we're doing more than 60 kilometers an hour here. Like I said, this thing can shift. Put a good crew on it, and this thing can really, really shift. And the gun is not bad, as long as you get good matchups and get the rears and asses of tanks. Frontally, it is not a good gun. Whoa, doing a tracky. You know, a wheelie, but in a tank. <laughs> Anywho, I'll see myself out now. <laughs> and there we have the J-Panther. Or, excuse me, Jack-Panther. You wait for that aim time. And oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, and we dodge his shell. Just barely. Put one in on the move. Oh crap. Get behind the rocks here. Okay. We're somewhat safe. And wait for it. There he is. Put one in. Put a second one in. Nope. It bounces. Yeah, frontally. Just trying to uh, grab somebody's attention here to shoot him. Nobody is. Yes, and we put one in, pull back again. Ah, I did get spotted. I do have six cents, as you can see. I'm just trying to back up here, see if I can see the IS. But, sadly, no dice. Now, he is so waiting for me. Dare I peek? I kind of don't want to. Oh, and we spot the IS. Finally spot the IS. There he is. I'm trying to get a line on him here. Oh, we can see him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, and somebody finished him off just before we can put our shot in. And there he is. Trying to put one in. Oh, I'm... Oh. Hanging around way too long. Yeah. Darn it. Hmm. <laughs> And he gets finished off. Let's take a look at the stats. And here we are. I actually managed to finish a mission with that. <laughs> What's the next one? Win a battle by capturing... Uh, great. Um, oh well. Yeah, I guess we'll have to do that. Meh. Some other time. Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker. We got a Fire for Effects, we got a Fighter, and we got a Bruiser Medal out of it. We did not get a lot of spotting damage out of this game. Well, actually we got some. Just not a whole lot. We did spot a couple of people there. So, walked away with over a thousand experience, 1400 damage done in a tier 7 game, and we're third highest on damage, and we got 4 kills. Fired 41 shots, 
23 hit, only 18 penetrated, and we bounced two shells. Yeah, light tanks are not bouncing. Yeah, <laughs> 480 damage. I think he had the stock gun on the uh, Hellcat there, but that was pretty funny. 500 spawning damage, not a whole lot. Walked away with 26k profit and 8,000 experience for a 5 times worth premium. Woohoo! So, the MT25, it's just shy of greatness, but you can have games like this. It is fast. If you can use that speed, it can be a lot of fun. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.